Welcome to Western Door Paranormal Studies. My name is Tony Burtis, your host. Today we're at the Pioneer Cemetery in Angola, New York. Now, Pioneer Cemetery is a very, very old cemetery. And there has been some reports of paranormal activity in the cemetery. What we're looking to accomplish here is to see if we can actually gather evidence of paranormal activity. Now, today we are also out here in the field with John Alves, who is one of my associates and my son, Zach. John, John Alves is representative of Enchanted Winds New Age Productions. Now, we have two of us out here. Let's see if between the both of us, we can actually get some kind of evidence of paranormal activity. Okay, we're doing an EMF sweep, and the one thing I will point out, John Alves has a phone app, and it's kind of going off like crazy. It's in the red. Now, my ghost meter, while it isn't going off, does tend to be going between, well, it's green now, but it was at the very least in the yellow. Okay, I've been safe. So, we're moving around now, pretty much just doing a base sweep of the entire cemetery to see, to check out the consistencies. Of course, I do have my ghost meter as well. So, we have two different devices out here. Yeah, I'm not getting into it now. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Over by where we were, it was yellow, but that could be someone's phones, too. Yeah. I'm not getting any residual off the... Ow. Wasn't expecting a stick stone. <laughs> The term stands for electronic voice phenomenon. What that refers to is when you capture a disembodied voice on a recording device, usually a handheld digital voice recorder. We utilized this at the Pioneer Cemetery, and we caught several different EVPs. This one actually seems to confirm what I was saying when we were getting hits on our electronic devices near the wires. Of course, the wires were setting off an electromagnetic field and it was causing our devices to go off. Now the voice says, wires, get it right. And we certainly did. Now this next EVP seems to illustrate a spirit that was indeed having fun with us. As the spirit calls, 
one of us, or perhaps all of us, a nitwit. Now this next EVP is definitely interesting. It comes across almost childlike. It seems to think we are looking for monsters perhaps, as it seems to say, is there monsters here? Now this next EVP is also very interesting. It almost seems to me like it's Native American. It comes across as saying, Nene, which to me, although I don't really know what it means, just seems to come across as a Native American word. Now we did indeed take a lot of pictures in the Pioneer Cemetery as part of our investigation, and most of them just turned out to be wonderfully artistic photographs of tombstones. Now every once in a while you'll get something that you can't explain. This one, I get a small light anomaly that I have completely debunked as possibly lens flare. VVP stands for Video Voice Phenomenon. It's very similar to an EVP. It's when you capture a disembodied voice on a video recording device instead of an audio recording device. Now what we captured here was also caught on an audio recording device. It's the Native American voice that says the word Nene. Now this next VVP is one of the best ones I believe I have ever caught. Now during the course of the investigation we were taking photographs of the cemetery as we normally do and I believe something really wanted to get into the act as it says can I snap one. So it seems the spirit wanted its turn to take a picture. They're running the same app on, my, on their phones as I'm running. Oh yeah? Yeah. Can't snap one. Now I'm going to do some photography on my own. Now, when I went into the Pioneer Cemetery, I wasn't sure exactly what to expect. I've heard a lot of folklore, I've heard a lot of stories about hauntings in the cemetery, but it's nothing that I've ever actually seen documented. But sometimes I like to just pop in and see for myself if I can prove or disprove the claims of paranormal activity. Well, it seems this time that I do have substantial proof that something is going on in the Pioneer Cemetery. Now, the village of Angola has a lot of haunts linked to it. There are plenty of things to talk about in Angola. It's just like places like Lockport, Lewiston, and East Aurora, as there was a lot of history and a lot of paranormal folklore with places like the Mill Street Bridge, Pigman's Road, and its proximity to Route 5, just to name a few. So this foray into the Pioneer Cemetery just seems to back up that Angola is certainly a very haunted village. Thank you.